Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Sim Airport where last episode guys, we built our third runway. We did so much expansions and got five brand new XL gates all set up, which has now put our airport to the ultimate stress test right now. We've got more passengers than ever before coming in. We had to slightly extend the um, the security area last episode because of everything that kind of went down. We need to extend this side a little bit more too to kind of keep up with the additional passengers coming in, which is kind of a little bit crazy right now. And I also want to take a look at other ways in which we can prove outside of the airport. Now, if you guys are enjoying this series and want to see more, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new right here, then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. But, we are now back. And uh, first thing I want to do then is actually look at the grants. Because we were doing um, investment grants. And we have we completed the one where we pay off all the loans and wait 7 days? Yes, we have. This one, we pay off all the loans and wait 12 days. So if I grab that one, and then can I get this one at the same time? No, we've got to wait for the next one. So that will give us some free cash anyway. Uh, airport efficiency, what's all this here right now? Uh, research technology, CTO to make uh, electrical zone with amplifier and PA speakers. That's something very, very important we need to do, 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 do to get. Oh, wait, we can't get it. Do we have something else currently on the go? Ah, yes. Building the tourist trap. I need to get the uh, customer satisfaction at least 80%. That's going to take a while. That is going to take a while. But anyway, while they do what they've got to do, we're going to slowly dismantle this and just move it down a bit so I can get the security area all in. I'm probably going to delete the whole of this anyway, but for now, I just want to slightly move it. So if I move the maintenance, for example, just here. Okay, you can't have more than one maintenance room. Fine. All right, put you just there. Does that mean I can move? Well, dismantle these, yeah. Are they now all being dismantled? Yes. So let me just quickly, in its place, put those little maintenance um, shelves down. Maintenance. No. What are they called? Oh, it's a toolbox, not maintenance. Toolbox, Sadiac. So I'll just drop a couple here, just for now. So we still got maintenance, the availability to, to you know do it. And then for the road, if I just kind of cut it just there... Which means then I can uh, dismantle all of this. And then we can start the expansions to extending and expanding our security area. Because in the height of it, I mean, we, we did a good job. I'm not, I'm not sure why they're also walking out this way when we have the upstairs set up to be the exit. Do you reckon I need to put some gates on this place? It's probably what I need to do, right? Some gates so they can only walk in this way and not out. It's probably the best option. We'll get that in just a second then. So, for the security then, the foundations, I know from here to there, it's a 28. So, if I try and get the same space in, 28 is there. So, if I drop that in like that. So here then, we're going to set up those little um, gates. You know, we got like on the upper floor, which um, shows like the security exit. Uh, a secure boundary, this allows passengers to transition to non-secure areas. Now, it allows passengers to transport to non-secure areas. Now, even though that this is going to be a... Okay, no. Ah... I was kind of hoping that, um, oh wait, no, I can pull it here. See, I was kind of hoping I can like drop it here and then like that will be a way to stop people walking this way out. If that makes sense. But I don't know whether it's going to work. So I'm going to test it. I'm going to test it right now. Oh yeah, go away from to build all this first. So yeah, get all that done. And then we'll see. We'll see if it does work or not. I also need to add some carpet in there too. I'll get that all done with the same stuff. So you can see how they're walking back through it, which is not ideal. 
If I drop the wall here, both sides, do they all then walk for the gate as normal? If they do, then we're on to a winner. This this is good stuff. Hopefully, it means that they can't walk through the gate. Like, the opposite way. So, can they do it? Does it work? I believe it does. Yes. I could have just put it down here, but that's fine. So, hopefully that stops people then walking back this way and exiting out. You know what I mean? Because it's been kind of a bit of annoyance. and I've, I don't know why they do it. But yeah, there we go. Hopefully it hopefully it works. We never know. So let me just dismantle this. And once the security area is then pretty much all done, then it's, it's all good, boys. It's all good. So I think that's the right carpet. I'll get it all in. It could be that carpet, to be honest with you. I don't know. I'll wait for him to build or place down this carpet for me to figure out if this is the correct carpet or not. Right, come on, workers. Here they come. No, it's not. I always forget which carpet it is. Right, it has to be that one, right? Or it could be this one. Oh, no. Sandy yak. Too many blue carpet decisions. I gotta remember what I'm using. I have to remember what I'm using right now. Right, they're coming back in, hot and heavy. There we go. And then drag that to there. And all we gotta do then is make sure that the zoning areas... The security is extended over. So, I literally cloned a bunch of this on that side. So, I'm going to do the same thing. So, clone in. Clone all that. And, obviously, I want to make sure that we get it borderline. I mean, I could bring it down to there. But it gives us too much space. But I'm going to do it here. That's like what we did on this side. There's like a little walkway gap just there as they come up so they can like get to where they need to get to. But that's going to require so many more people being employed right now. But hopefully having this huge security area keeps up with all the demands. We will only... Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? So I wait for them to build all of this. It's a lot of work that needs to be get done. And then we can hire everybody. And then I can take a look at then maybe doing some car parks or stuff on the outside. So security... Oh, 42 more... Oh my goodness me. How many people do we need for security right now? Well, then again, we are. We have pumped our airport to be on steroids at this moment in time. Right. Additional 42 people now hired. So if that doesn't help our security, I don't know what will. I don't know if we need to eventually increase the amount of people working on the ID check stands. But there we go. Lots of people are now in. Guys. We now have lots of people here. So more people we can push through the system. Right. Good stuff. Let's go into play mode then. So. Out here. I need to figure some stuff out. Is it possible to make a road go across the tracks? The answer is no. But from what I can remember... Was there a way to make it so... Hold on. Road. No. Oh, yes. Road ramp down. Where I could make them kind of go down to get onto this side to build a car park. You know, you see, you see, you see where I'm going with this? But to be able to buy this piece of land, 3.4 milli is what I need. But I could build a car, a beautiful car park, might I add. A beautiful car park. But it's going to require um, a lot of moving parts right now. Or what's going on with this? Must be adjacent to a road that reaches the spawn. Wait, what? Must be adjacent to a road that can reach spawn and despawn points. What are you talking about? You're telling me now I can't get no fuel? It's unreachable? Huh? Well, hold on, utilities. Right, let me dismantle the depot and then we'll place it back in. 
So if I go to place it back in right now, it'll tell me exactly where it can go. So confused on this already. I didn't change anything around here, did I? Right. Oh, I can't make it face down. That's hilarious. If I drop it there, then it's right on the corner. And if I bring this like that, with the pumps... Right, okay, so if if in reality we have been going so long about no fuel right now, it's going to cost us a fortune to then restock all the fuel. So I buy this piece of land real quick? Do you know what? Yeah, I'm buying that piece of land right now, guys. While I have the money, we're going to buy it and then figure everything else out down the road. This could be a bad choice. Oh, wait, it might have been. No. When I extended the, the security area, did I break any fuel pipes on the ground? All right, fast forward. No, that's now working. That's now working, but it's going to cost us probably a million to fill it back up again. But I've got everything on this side, so I don't need this secure fence, so I can now go on to delete this, so dismantle. All right, pushing all the wet. Oh, no, don't want to dismantle all that. Make sure I don't step over by one. All right, there we go. Dismantle you. There we go. So, with those roads then. So, a road ramp down. Oh, see, I can't make road go across, but I can make road... Right, road ramp down. So if I, for example, placed it right, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do it here. There's no there's no choice. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do it here just for the sake of seeing how this potentially works. So a road ramp down, I take it it can only go in one direction. Road ramp up. Well, okay, I'll build this one first and just kind of see what how it works. So, there we go. Um, so, they can only go in that way. So, road. Ramp up. Obviously, we'll go on the ground. So, if I place that there, that should then go up this way, right? We'll soon figure it out. We'll soon figure it out. It could work, it could not work. That's part of the fun. There we go. Okay, so, sweet. Okay. So underground then, what I'm going to do is just set up a simple road. So that... Can I only build it one by one? Oh wait, I can change the direction. Oh, is that gonna mess things up now? Yeah, it does kind of mess things up. All right, dismantle. Now, now I've built it. I gotta dismantle it all. <laughs> He's so foolish. So so foolish. All right, dismantle. I didn't realize when I was placing it down. So that's there. And that goes up that way. Meaning we push that that way. Voila! So then the road. Uh, road ramp up. To there. And then here. It's road ramp down there so it's the opposite on this side hopefully this works i'm hoping it does work it's probably going to cause so much traffic jams and then what we can do is we can build a path that leads to here where there's a crossing so they can walk over and in that's kind of what we're hoping for right security holding up right now i think so we might need some more um id check stands but I think we're okay. 
Uh, right, okay then. So, the road situation. Actually, before I do that... Car parks. Parking lot 5. What's the best method for me to do this? Now, we've currently got a loop like that. Does it the business? Oh, is it, this is now a tough one because... I don't know the best way to go about doing this. So, if I say that they go this way first. Right. And then I, if I just don't put some down some generic car parks. So, if I went one there. Two. One. Two. Right, and then back to the road. So I'm trying to do it, like, logical, where they can cut through to other areas. But it all eventually then leads back out to the exit. That makes sense. There we go. So we we got a car park in that kind of sense of it. And then we'll do little walkways that go down to here so that, that you know, people can walk out. So, <laughs> oh wow, okay, vehicles are already turning up. So they can't get to where they're, okay, they can walk across the grass. Did not realize, well, yeah, I did realize they can do that. But obviously I want it like a nicer system. So I put a nice. Hmm. Well, if I did that like that, that little walkway here, I could squeeze down on this side a couple more car parking spaces. This could be handy. Now it means that less people will use the buses and the train line, but I need a lot to really make a difference. The car park has no connection to the despawn. What are you talking about right now? Can you not see? They can walk across. People made it. Has no road connection reaching the despawn point. So you go down this way and out. Let me look underground. Ah, oh! They haven't done this. Make it urgent. That's why they can't exit. Um, builders. What are you doing? I can't even cancel the project. Right, if I dismantle... Let's say this bit here. Will that kind of spurt them on to building this? Okay, some of them are moving now. Where are they going? I don't know where they're going. Oh, they're doing maintenance. Oh, that's maybe well they're not doing anything right now because they're doing a little bit of maintenance. Right, here they come. No? Guys, what's going on? Also, I just realized as well, I'm missing some foundations. Right, guys, we've got people stuck here right now. Can you, um... Can you folio... I'm going to have to reload the game. If they can't figure it out. Right. Last bit. Right, there's a dude coming down right now. He's going to do that last little bit and they're going to leave it like that, aren't they? Shocking, mate. Shocking workmanship. Right, we're going to have to reload the game. So, save the game. Boom. And then we'll reload it. And then hopefully that fixes some issues. So, have I got to quit? Okay, i got to quit to the main menu. You can't load it from moving a save game. Right, continue playing. Oh my goodness me. 
the stuff you've got to do to make a freaking car park work right now. The game is triggering your boy. Triggering your boy. There we go. So, get rid of yourself. Fast forward. Will the workmen now run to get this? Oh, I can hear work happening. There we go. There we go. And then finally, the vehicles should be able to leave. Which they have the ability to do so. So it's not perfect, but definitely works. So, car parks now, then. It's like I can have an extra one there. So if I do this all logically. Bam. Bam. And then the road. So we drag that down to here. Can have that go to there. That go to there. And just for the sake of it right now, car parks or parking lot. Bam, bam. And those little single ones. I can just do here that kind of separate the little walkway. We'll see how long they last us. So I did notice that you can charge for the car parking. I could do two fifty an hour. Oh, is it all set to it? Nice. Two fifty an hour. So we get some a couple of pennies coming in for the car parks right now. So that will become slightly useful. And I mean, it's, it's almost full anyway. So do I keep the expansions going? I might as well. I might as well keep extending. Why am I not cloning it is the question. I'm making life so much more difficult for myself. Oh no. Right, there we go. Should work. So this means then that someone should come back and um, pick the car back up. So this assumes then passengers go away and then they do come back. I just thought they went away and then different people... I mean, it makes sense because when you do go on holiday, you do fly back to, you know, normally to the same airport. So, yeah, people are now slowly coming back and taking their cars. So if I just kind of clone this then, I can, do a, I can build a little bit more of it, can't I? So construction-wise clone i should be able to at least actually you know what no we'll clone now yeah we'll, we'll clone this bit oh okay you can't clone it okay so you can only clone basically indoor areas so yeah i, I need to go a little bit crazy with the car parks because the amount of uh, vehicles we've already got parking here Right, car parks then. All right, let's do this then. So, bam, bam. Spin this round. Bam, bam. So, we've got that there. So, you go here. You go there. Bam, bam. So, there. Bam, bam, bam. Flippy back round. Bam, bam. Same again. Bam. So that's a lot more now thrown in. So we'll sort the road out real quick. Going all the way up. Straight back down. Straight back down. This way, this way, this way, this way. Lovely jubbly. Sidewalk-wise, we'll bring this out here. 
Bring it to there. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to like double down on this sidewalk coming to the side. And just do it every so often to make it you know, more approachable as an area. So we should see some a lot more people using the car parks is what I'm trying to say now. So interesting. Now I don't know whether it's just one person per car. I don't know if no, it's not. So a car can bring multiple passengers at once. So the amount of car parks that we do have, obviously it's less people using the bus, using the train system. Which is not going to completely, you know, solve a lot of our problems. It just takes the edge off. In reality, it just kind of slightly takes the edge off. So one person got that there. Three people got out of that vehicle. Not bad. Okay, it, it definitely does a little bit something for us. Right, a lot of these people right now are complaining that they missed their flight. Now, what was the reason for it? Do you reckon this is the reason for it? They can't buy a ticket quick enough? Hmm. Right, I might need some more ticketing booths. I mean, I do have the ability to check in their bags, but they're not... Oh, wait, hold on. Was that something I could research? Advanced ticketing. Well, it only has the ability to assign um, aircraft gates to specific ticketing zones. I get it anyway. I, I was hoping it kind of like increased the speed of maybe the ticketing machines. But that is not a thing. But if I clone anyway, and let's clone two. Because I can place these down in other areas. To really bulk up how many more ticketing machines that we do have. Alright, so we, we double up just there. There's a lot of people waiting, so you can see why. And waiting to check in bags as well. So let's just first, first start with the ticketing machines. We're going to first start with them, and hopefully we can kind of siphon through the backlog a little bit more. There's some serious backlog now, isn't there? And I suppose we get a load here. So if I, yeah, I, I keep to the two cloned. And then do the same upon this side. So like I said, there's a lot more ticketing machines now available to utilize. So let's see how it kind of tears through that little backlog. So that's not good then. I mean, we've never really had this problem before, but I suppose it's obvious to why we now got the problem. It's the one area that we haven't improved. So now as we add more, we have more ability. Which I, I still believe we need to add more of this, the ID check stands. So there's a few people still missing their flights, understandable, because we're still trying to clear the backlog. So we're going to have to make a lot of people upset first. And now this is not looking too good. So if I extend, like, yeah, I can't clone the whole thing. If I clone half of it. That's almost like building a whole additional one. I know I need to set up queues and stuff like that. But even if I did set up queues, it's still the same amount of people coming through. So I just want to make sure that I can clear the backlog first. There's so many people coming in. All of a sudden, the airport has just gone mental. I mean, I knew it was mental anyway, but this is ridiculous. Right, where's our work? Okay, they're coming in right now to build with additional stuff, which means more security needs to be hired. 
So at the minute it's 16 more. Is that literally all it is? 16 more? Alright, okay. 16 more. We'll see what happens with those additional members of staff. Security's looking mad. So advanced security, remote to access security stations and remote baggage scanners, more efficient operations. Ability to sign IG checks then to baggage scanners and baggage scanners, motor detectors, baggage scanners for precise control flow. I mean, I don't really know if that's going to aid us in any way, shape or form, but I suppose it can't hurt us is the uh, way I'm thinking right now. I suppose it can't hurt us. So, seems a little bit calmer out right here. I don't know whether that's because we've caught it at a different time when there's less flights coming in. But we'll keep an eye on it anyway, because it could definitely 100% be a problem. I can run more ticketing kiosks down here anyway, if it does become an issue. But I think this is low-key might be just a quiet time in general. Well, as, oh my goodness me, the car park. <laughs> I was about to say, then how's the car park doing? It's doing great, mate. It's doing great right now. Couldn't it be better? Could not be better. I probably will eventually maybe extend that way. For more car parking shenanigans. But yeah. Amazing. Right, I'm here to wait in here. Okay, so we might now need to increase the frequency of our transportation. So rather than every 15 minutes, maybe every 10. That will add an extra two trains an hour, basically. So hopefully we can clear that backlog. Which it looks like it's going to. It's only a few people here now, right? Ish. Ish, there's a few people there. But you can often tell how many people are here with how smooth the game is running. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, right, Grant then. We must have completed that investment grant, right? Um, wait. Oh, wait 12 days. Okay, we're still waiting 12 days. It hasn't been 12 days yet. All right, gotcha. All right, that's slowly coming down right now. So it is working. Uh, again, more people are now coming in. So it's putting more pressure and more stress and strain on a lot of our stuff. It's just so many people coming into the airport. It's going to have issues. So many people coming inbound right now. You see, that's another thing as well. With so many inbound, I'm not probably not getting enough trains. Buses would do every 15 minutes. Rail would do every 7 minutes just to kind of get everybody keep coming in. Um... We'll do every 12 hours for the retail and garbage. So it's, it's pretty much two delivery pickups, we want to call it, a day. Because the airport this size, and I'm sure that the, uh, the cafe area are going to be running out of stuff quite often. Yeah. Alright, I think, I think we've kind of, not solved it, but I think we've sorted out now more of... The capacity issues. I mean, we still got them. Don't get me wrong, but, you know, I'm trying to funnel through thousands of passengers a day. There's so much trash everywhere as well. Got to sort out more garbage. Oh, that's a point. How many janitors we got? We've only got 10. So I'm going to increase to this to about 30. So I've tripled my workforce in janitors. So that'll be a help before I add any garbage. I know I need to add them. I know I need to add them, but that should be a little bit of a help anyway. Uh, okay, there's not that many inbound right now, which shows us that the increase in transportation right now has been a big, big help. So 
So more people coming in and out, which is good. So we've had the airports now running. I think we got this. I think we've low-key got this right now. Right, sweet, 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 sweet. And you've got fuel, so we are refueling still. Everything's pointing in the right direction right now. We're about to get the advanced ticketing done. Which, in reality, all it's really allowing us to do, from what I gathered, is I can assign like a ticketing kiosk or desk or whatever to a certain gate. Which is handy. Don't get me wrong, that's super handy. But at the minute, I feel like it's better to have all of it for everything. So then the passenger can just turn up and just choose where they want to go. And they can just pretty much go to the kiosk with the shortest queue. But extending down by one more is also an option. If this becomes a little bit chaotic. It's just the security though. Like I've added more in, but I still feel like it's not enough. Anybody find that weird? Or is it just me? It could just be me. I could just be moaning for no reason. Um, okay. So, flooring-wise, we're looking at this floor here for this. I'm just going to get the rest of the floor now in. Just so, even though we don't have anything down in this section, at least it semi-kind of looks decent. There we go. Same up here then. Oh, so much trash. Just get all the carpet in. It'd be hilarious right now if this is the wrong carpet. So, oh my goodness, it's so much trash. Honestly, I, well, I knew there was a bit of trash lying around because you got no trash cans, but I didn't realize it was this bad. Get all this in. Bam. All the way up. Bam. It's a bit funky here because the path doesn't quite connect. <laughs> but if I get it all in, then GG. So even though it's not perfectly finished, it's just in. Flooring's in. So, oh, when we're going, there we go. Gotta sort some out just here then to make this a quicker walk speed out. And then this whole section we'll sort out as well. Right, trash cans. Are they called trash cans? Garbage cans? Trash. They're called garbage bins. Right, okay. So we'll first start them uh, over here. So we don't have any, do we? When you think about it. We'll do some there. The game has decided to freeze itself. <laughs> so place some here to where we eventually would have walls going around. Bam, bam. Even though there's garbage cans in there, they're still like, they're not using them. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? So that does a lot here on its own. Is the game keep freezing because I've just given our workforce so much to do? I can't get enough deliveries in either, can I? Where are they at? They're just here right now. So maybe give them a little bit of time to kind of catch up with what I want them to do. Yeah, look at the tickets desk right now. There's so many people waiting. Can't even add upgrades. What is going on in the airport? Have we had like 20 gazillion planes all just turn up at once? 
Something can't right, is it? Something can't right there. I think with the game glitching out and stuff like that, it's just causing mental chaos. Because there's no way in this world all those passengers are now all of a sudden just stuck. No way in this world. I reckon because the game's glitching out slightly. Because that is impossible. Waiting for boarding. It's because they're all stuck. That's why. So at least we can get the ability to have higher walk speeds. Everywhere in the airport by placing down floor. It's like an extra 5% boost. Not much, but, you know, it's better than nothing. So a lot of people now complaining. We're all running out. Crazed lunatics like, Sadiac, why? Why you do this? Let's see, it's not my fault, guys. It's not my fault. You're so weak. <laughs> and what's even more crazy as well is the amount of people that are waiting to use the escalators. Look over a thousand people just here. I reckon that's why they were coming out down below is because we couldn't get enough bodies down the escalators. So, do you reckon... I mean, I could open up that one, but that's the up escalator for the people working in the offices. But do you reckon I need some more... escalator-ness going on? Or is that because there's so many people now walking out because they're missing flights? It's like a horde of zombies walking out right now, isn't it? It is like a horde of zombies. Right, well, I gotta make my delivery area slightly bigger. Because there's a couple of boxes there they're gonna be needing. There we go, just help out our delivery guys. Unload multiple trucks. <laughs> Can't believe how many people are waiting for the escalators. F uh, wow, is it yeah, the number's actually going up and up. But I can't do anything. I can't build anything, uh, like any additional ones. I mean, yeah, I could switch this round just for now. But then these visitor receptions kind of complain. But if it's only the visitor cons uh, receptions complaining, I think we can kind of live with it for just a second to kind of aid us getting more people out of the airport. Right, the game's on super slow, so the builders are definitely building right now. And now they're building up here. You can tell when like, something big's happening. <laughs> oh my goodness me. <laughs> right, I got away from that to collect a few more items before the building can continue. Right, where have they gone now to start? Oh no, it's maintenance time. That's why it's kind of slightly stopped. Right, there's less people now waiting to go out of here as we're utilizing more of these escalators, which is good. We'll eventually catch up with the backlog. A couple of flights failed to reserve gate. I'm not surprised at the mental chaos that is now going on. Uh, but they're now doing all the flooring up above. So let's go away for all this to be finalised. Like I said, I can't build anything right now until I've done all the flooring. So it's slowly happening. I could hire more workmen as well, couldn't I? I mean, I've already got a hundred. Just go for a hundred more. 
<laughs> oh snap! Ah, oh, dreadful work, man. Do you know what? I'm gonna do it. Double the workforce, then technically, what? Times to the speed in which they get stuff done. There we go. Well, they just now appear. I forget how they get it. Did they get, did they get dropped off? I can't quite remember how, how it works with them. Aha, here they are. New workmen. Coming in now hot and heavy. So how far did they get down here then? Where, where, where have they got to? At the minute, nowhere. These workmen are now coming up the escalator. Here they come. And they're now getting here ready to start building upon this area. All it requires is one person to bring a box of goods. And then they're building. Who is the chosen one to grab a box? Who is the chosen one? At this moment, I don't think any of them are the chosen one. What's going on now? And where's the other workman? Okay, there's a lot of them going to grab boxes now. Aha! There we go. So we see some rapid improvements. Right, there's so much trash. But we've got trash cans that we need to build. Do I increase my, the amount of cleaners that I have, the janitors that I have in the airport too? Do you reckon that needs to be a thing? Alright, they're, they're tearing through this right now, aren't they? How many? I got 30 janitors. Just to kind of aid the cleaning process. Seventy janitors could help us out. Right, where they got to now? Slowly, slowly, guys. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> now we've got 200 workers. They're blitzing for all this work, aren't they? Absolutely blitzing for it. Nice. Well, where are they running to next then? There's a few little pockets that they've still got yet to get done. What area is... Oh, the garbage... Oh, that's why we got so much trash. Because the garbage zone is ridiculously overflowed. I'm, I'm, I'm up a floor, aren't I? Right, extend the garbage zone area. Yeah, I need more garbage trucks to be arriving. Let's just kind of fill up what we've got going on right now. So... Okay, they've got all this to now get done. I feel like the game's slightly kind of calmer now. <laughs> now we've cleared a lot of the stuff. Having the walk speed in by 5% means people get in and out of the airport a lot quicker too. But this here is not working out. These four escalators. I mean, it is kind of coming down slightly, but when we get a big bunch of people coming in, I need more to bring them down to the next floor. Yeah. Okay. So the garbage zone is still as it is. That means we should be able to, the janitor should be able to clean, right? It should be able to. Oh dear god. <laughs> Just when I thought it was calm. Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the water. Holy moly. <laughs> That's all I could say. Holy moly. We might have to get rid of some of the planes. Right, definitely need to upgrade how often the... Oh, where's it gone? The garbage comes every... 
you know what? Every 20 minutes at this point, I need a garbage truck. Right, wait for autosave. It's the bane of my life. Right, garbage truck every 20 minutes, please. That's a point. I don't know how many bags it actually picks up. Because <clears throat> if it's picking up like one or two bags a time, then yeah, we need them more often. Where's the garbage truck at? Yo, garbage truck, where you at, boy? Where's the garbage truck? We now got garbage overspilling. This ain't good. Yoo-hoo, garbage truck! Is there no vehicles coming down at all? Oh, what's happening here? Oh. What's going on with this vehicle? It's a supply truck carrying box. Are they unloading from over here? Why? What's with the backlog? Okay, now you're moving. Now we got some movement. Right, garbage truck. Where you is the garbage truck? Okay, it carries quite a bit, but we got all of them coming in right now. So many garbage trucks because of all the backlog we just had. <clears throat> but we should be able to clear all of this right now and slowly start clearing the airport too. So now we got that, that truck that came in, finally, we're getting all the flooring now in. Almost all done. All right, wait for this garbage truck to be full. Off it skedaddles out of here. So we, see, we should start to see some changes now slowly happening. We should start to see them. But with the increase in people coming in right now, our airport is not able to kind of upkeep or manage it. It really isn't. So many people waiting here to kind of exit the airport. It's not till like the end of the day where they eventually get their turn to leave. So I do need to maybe utilize this section a bit more to bring them down to the next floor, the next level. So this, we, you know, we've got more going on. Which then begs the question... Are these guys able to uphold and handle the, the new demands that we've got covered in? I don't know. This is a lot of stuff that we've got to figure out. It's making a lot of passengers very, very unhappy. The only thing that we can kind of guarantee right now is that we are making so much cash. This is got a couple of bags stored right now, but it is slowly going down. That's got a couple there. Do need to increase the capacity on that. Boom. Boom. But it's enough where as soon as it takes a little bit of a break, it can tear through and get all the bags pushed through anyway. So it's not really a huge issue at the minute. But yeah, there's definitely some issues we've got coming in right now. Still to this point, a lot of people watching the TV screens right now. See, if they're watching that, looking for flight information display, I need those PA speaker systems. That's 100% what we need to get set up next episode. Government grants, we finally... No, we still are yet to complete this. We're in the 12 days. But I can get this and wait seven days. No, I can't do that until that one's done. Fine. No, I can't do it because I'm doing the other passenger experience thing, aren't I? Yeah. Forgot about that one. <laughs> but we'll keep an eye on it, guys. We'll definitely keep an eye on it right now. Need more escalators. We need a lot more stuff, but at least we know where the issues lie. At least we know where the issues lie. The airport is slightly getting a little bit cleaner. I need I need more. I need like another road to allow people to drive in. Don't I? Can I actually do that? Hold on, if I dismantle, like say this. Can I, can I even dismantle it? Ah, it's because I was upper floor, wasn't it? Oh, what is going on right now with this game? The game Loki wants to trigger me. I don't know if I, I got the, the research done. 
But let's find out. So then I'll dismantle a lot of this. Because I've, I've got to bog the road up to allow more vehicles to come in. But it then does mean changing all this method here. As we get more road coming in. All right, come on, guys. I'm sure I got the dual lane access set up. Right, you're all done? Come on, guys. Yeah, I did. So if I build this in to, like, let's just stay here for now. So we've got double lanes, meaning we can have double vehicles entering. I don't know why they're all of a sudden deciding to unload this vehicle here. But I won't be able to build it anyway until they bring the goods in. And they can't bring the goods in because this vehicle is kind of stuck here right now. Oh my goodness me. I don't even know what's going on anymore. What is real life? That's another problem as well because if that's blocking the road, people arriving by bus can't leave or exit. And can't arrive, which is then having a knock-on effect for when they do eventually get here. Hmm. This is interesting. Okay, now it disappears. So all these vehicles can now make their way in. And now we've got to wait for the garbage trucks. See, this is the problem we've got. This is the problem we've got right now. The problem's real out here. Oh, they're switching over to the next lane. Okay, that's that's interesting that they're doing it already. So it makes no difference at all. But it funnels the vehicles through a little bit more, doesn't it? It does funnel them through a little bit more. Makes no difference, like I said. But what I could do is... I could use the road and just kind of bring it down to like here for example because what it does then it will bring the garbage trucks on you know the right hand lane because they'll unload and offload there keeping the left hand lane free for vehicles to move all the way down so it'll work out for us in in the long run if a vehicle gets stuck there i'm hoping that they'll then overtake it or choose to overtake it so wait for these garbage trucks to move then, so more vehicles can just tear through. There we go. So a bit of chaos coming down right now, but it will all work out. It will all work out. So I just got away from to build this next little bit of road. Maybe this is the root of the cause, the whole problem. It could have been. It honestly could have been. So are the workers going to build this road or what? What's going on, workers? Did this road not exist to you? Okay, now they're building it. So we should see some changes now happen. We should start to see some changes because now they can overtake and move lanes and whatnot. So hopefully it just funnels a few more vehicles in. Granted they're going to bottleneck here. But um, it's better than one line and they all have to wait. At least they can kind of slightly wiggle through. I suppose that's a bonus. <laughs> but I need to move the garbage anyway to somewhere a bit more efficient. I need to move all these zonings a bit somewhere a bit more efficient. So we know where we're going wrong. We've got game plans in which we can go ahead and fix it. So hopefully we can tackle those issues in the next coming episodes. Guys... 
Hope you did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.